Arctic plants are tough. They have to be. Most of their life is spent in the dark and cold of winter. When the light returns and snow melts in May and June, spring happens quickly. Plants soak up the sun and struggle to establish themselves in the thin active layer that thaws. For many, the entire reproductive cycle happens in a matter of weeks. By August, the plants are preparing again for the long cold night of winter. To survive this harsh environment, plants have amazing adaptations. Waxy and leathery leaves help them retain water and resist cold and wind. Many hug the ground, exposing only a small percentage of themselves above ground to avoid the wind and take advantage of the dark, warm summer soil. Some plants, like lowbush cranberry, get a jump on the season. They start photosynthesis buried in up to 30 centimeters of snow. Others have strategies that help trap warm air near the plant. They group together, have woolly leaves, flowers, and seeds, or have flowers shaped like a satellite dish that focus the sun's warmth at the center where seeds are developing. These mini greenhouse strategies can keep them up to 30 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than the air. Although they are tough, tundra plants live life on the edge. Growing on permafrost in the cold, windy, and arid conditions of the north does not give them much wiggle room. Disturbance of any kind can upset the delicate balance. If you have the opportunity to explore these Arctic lands, tread lightly and appreciate the incredible feat these plants have accomplished to live in a land of such extremes.